everyone this is Aisha of Aisha designed it and welcome back to my channel well today I am going to be sublimating a design on a Cricut mug a 12 ounce quick a Cricut mug um, and I'm going to be using my convection oven in order to um, add the heat in order to sublimate the design onto my mug all right so I had a request from a viewer here on my channel who asked have I ever um, sublimated a a mug inside my convection oven and I have never done it before I have a Cricut um, mug press that I use in order to make my mugs but I usually um, sometimes uh, I usually do my um, tumblers in my convection oven okay because I don't have a tumbler press so I'm going to be using my convection oven in order to do um, the mug in my convection oven, I have one on Creative Fabrica in order to choose a design that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing the front of my mug as well as the back side. So I'm going to be showing you everything that you need. First of all, you will need a design. All right, you will need a, need a mug. I have a link in the description box below for the mug that I use. All right, um, so I will have a link in the description box below for you to go and check out if you need a mug. You will also need um, a supplementation printer which I am using an Epson ET2760 that I converted over into a sublimation printer. All right, you will need, of course, sublimation ink. You will also need a convection oven. I have a link in the description box for the convection oven that I use. I use a Black & Decker. All right, and you will need some heat gloves. Um, and I think that's about it. Okay, you will need sublimation paper. And you know I use the ASAP paper. I use the 8.5 by 11. Um, I use Creative Fabrica also for my designs. So make sure you go and check out Creative Fabrica. I also have a link for Creative Fabrica in the description box. All right, so right now they're having a special. So make sure you go and check out my link to Creative Fabrica. All right, so everything that I mentioned is in the description box below. Um, so we're going to go ahead. I have my heat press. I have my convection oven heating at 350. And um, my design is fin finished. So my design is finished printing. So I'm going to go ahead, show you what I have. Then we're going to go in here and we're going to go ahead and use the convection oven in order to do the mug. All right. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. All right, everyone. So I am in Creative Fabrica and I'm going to be using this sublimation um, bundle here. And it's a summer a summer bundle that I'm going to be using um, one of these um, designs here to add to my mug. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go here to download and um, go ahead and get this downloaded. All right, so I absolutely love this design here, but I'm not sure which one I am going to be using because they are multiple ones that come here. It's this one is this sunrise sunburn sunset repeat i don't think i'm going to use that one um i have the summer vibes here um let's do a little day drinking okay and i have one that says just beaching that's super cute i may use that one um, and I have one that says, girls just want to have sun. All right. So I think I'm going to be using this one or the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and print it out on my Epson 2760. Um, I'm going to go ahead and size it to, um, the size of my mug. Let me show you my mug. All right. So this is the mug that I'm going to be using. Again, this is a Cricut mug and it's, um, 12 ounces. I have the link in the description box below, so make sure you go and check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and size this, size my design, and then first of all, I'm going to use some alcohol to clean it. Then we're going to go into the kitchen and use my convection oven to supplement this. Now, this is my first time supplementing a mug in the convection oven, but um, like I said, I had a viewer who wanted to see um mugs being supplemented in a convection oven she asked me had i ever done one so i told her i will do one just to see how long it takes and all of that good stuff all right so we're going to go ahead and get this taken care of all right everyone so here is my design that i'm going to be printing out on my epson 2760 i'm going to be using just beaching and i'm going to be using summer vibes so i'm going to go on and um 
flip these around, print them out on my Epson 2760 using my um, sublimation paper, my ASUM paper that I showed you before, all right? Um, I also have links to some videos, my sublimation videos, as well as my Cricut tutorial videos and my recent video. Um, so make sure you go and check out those videos, okay? Alright everyone, so here is my convection oven. I have a Black & Decker convection oven that I use for um, to supplement my tumblers in. So today I'm going to be trying my uh, a Cricut mug in this convection oven, alright? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on, alright? So this is how I do mine. I'm going to turn it to, um, I'm going to do about three... 50. Well, I'm going to do yeah, about right here. All right. So it's about maybe three, right at 350. Okay. So I have my thermometer or my timer in here. And this just lets me know when, when, um, it reaches the temperature that I want, which is 350. All right. So this is linked in the description box below. This convection oven is, oven is linked in the description box below. So make sure you go and check it out, all right? So it's warming up right now, it's heating up. So we're gonna go ahead, go back in here and grab my um, design from my, uh, go ahead and grab the design off of my printer, okay? All right, so here's my mug, here's my heat tape. Here is my design, so I'm gonna be putting on my mug. And here are my heat gloves, all right? Uh oh All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you because I'm working with one hand trying to do this. So what you do is take your design, place it on your mug, all right? Just like so. All right, you wanna place it, instead of placing it this way, you wanna place it this way. Remember to always mirror your image because you're placing it on like this and if you can see through that design then you will see once I place it this way it will come out the correct way all right if you look at it this way it is turned around which is mirror okay but when you look at it in this way like you're putting it on your mug then it will look the way that it's supposed to okay I hope that makes sense all right so you just put it here take your heat tape and you tape it on here I have some video showing you how to do it so i'm going to tape one here on this side i'm going to turn it around and i'm going to put another design on this side okay all right so here is my mug after i have added the heat tape and everything on it and remember i told you i was going to do both sides so now we're going to go over here and put it into the confection oven all right, so as you can see, the convection oven is hot. I can feel it on the outside. And my temperature is reading right at almost 300. So I'm just gonna wait a little while longer. Just gonna let it try to get to 350 before I put it in here. All right. All right, so I'm gonna use my oven and I'm gonna set it to five minutes and I'm going to check it. All right, so don't let it go the whole five minutes without checking it. All right, so I'm gonna use the timer here on my microwave. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press timer. I'm going to set it to five minutes. Now, to some, that may seem a long time, but remember, I have to make sure it supplements. So we're gonna do five minutes. Start. Now, don't let it go the whole five minutes without checking it, all right? So I'm gonna let it go um, probably till it gets to um, right at maybe three minutes. Um, I'm gonna check it at three minutes and we're going to see where it is, all right? Don't leave your convection oven. Make sure you watch it to make sure everything is good on it because you do not want anything to happen. So don't step away from your convection oven, okay? And make sure you just keep a check on your timer and we're going to see if we need to go up some 
or we can keep it or it sublimates at five minutes or we need to go down some, okay? All right, so we're at two minutes, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to stop it. Well, pause it, okay? Okay, so we're just back over here at the convection oven. I'm just gonna open it. And I don't see the design. The design is coming through just a little bit, but remember when the design come through, that usually means that it's sublimated really well, okay? Um, I know that let some of the heat out, but I'm doing this just to show you, um, you know, how many minutes to keep it on because that was one of my, um, her questions. How many minutes do we leave a mug in the convection oven? Okay, so I'm showing you now that I left it in there. I started at five minutes. I went three minutes, stopped it at two minutes, okay? So now we're gonna let it go for the rest of the time and, um, you know, to just see what it do, okay? All right, so remember we stopped at, we started at five minutes, we stopped at two minutes, so I need to put it back on three minutes, okay? Because three plus two is five. So I'm gonna put it at three minutes, press start. We're gonna let it go the entire three minutes. Then we're gonna go back and check it, okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one all right so we have done five minutes for our mug so we're gonna turn it off all right all right everyone so we are back over here um and i do see the design coming through all right so that is a good sign remember we did five minutes so we're gonna take it out and look at it just to see if we need to adjust the time all right, so I had to make sure I put my heat gloves on. So heat gloves is in the description box below. So make sure you go and check it out. All right, so I took it out. And as you see, you see the design coming through um, a little bit. I would like for it to look a little bit, you know, to go a little longer. All right, normally when I do my tumblers, I do them at six minutes. All right, um, you don't want to do them too long, but you also want to keep check on them. So what I'm going to do, I am going to put this back into the oven for one minute, all right? After one minute, that would have given it six minutes total, okay? And then we will take it off. We will see how it looks, okay? How it looks. All right, so there it is back into the, to the, uh, into the oven, convection oven. So now I'm going to go and put it on one more minute. We're going to let it go one minute, and then we're going to check it again. All right, y'all, that was a quick one minute. So now we're gonna turn it off. Okay, and then we're gonna go over here and check our mug. All right, so here is our mug. Let's go ahead and turn the convection oven off because we are done, okay? Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and take it out. Remember, it is going to be hot, so be careful. I'm going to place it here on my little, uh, little thing here. Okay, you want to you want it to cool down, and then you can go ahead and remove the um tape. Okay, so let's go ahead and let it cool down a little while. Okay. All right, everyone, so now it has cooled down a little bit. And as you see, you can see the design coming through the paper, which is usually a good sign, All right? So let's look at the back. It's the same with the back side, or this can be the front side, whichever one you want it to be. All right, so I have my little pick tool thing here. Let me see, right here. All right, so what I'm gonna do, go ahead and take this tape off so that we can reveal and see how it looks. Now make sure you do not scrape your mug. You don't want to do that. Let me see if I can take it off with my nails. Nails are not on today, so we make it do it with that. Are y'all ready for the big reveal? All right, so let me 
glance. Oh, Ooh, it's looking good, y'all. All right, so let's take it off and see how it looks. All right. So I'm going to show it to you. All right. So as you see, it came out looking really, really pretty. All right. The colors are just like it was when I printed out. As you see, it has these little, let me see if I can point them out to you. Uh-oh. Like right here, the little um, things there. Now that was in the design. Okay. So that's nothing that I did or anything like that. That was in the design. So it came out absolutely amazing. Okay. So let me turn it over to the other side. All right. So I went ahead and took the tape off right here. So let's go ahead and look at the other side and see how everything looks. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and take this one off. All right. Oh, that is so beautiful. Okay. I'm sorry about having my hand in the way, but I'm trying to record this with one hand. Okay. So as you see, all right, this is the paper, how it looks on this side here. Okay. So this is beautiful. I love it. Look, it says summer vibes. And that's the exact way that it was printed off on my Epson 2760 sublimation printer that I converted over. All right, so you see that I did five minutes in my convection oven, and then I went ahead and put one more minute on it, which made six minutes total, okay? So every, everyone's oven may be different, Again, I have the Black & Decker. So I put it on, I started out with 350. Then I went and increased the time. So right at 400 for six minutes. And this is what you get. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. So I hope this answered the question to um, the viewer who was, the person who was on here asking me the question about how long it takes to supplement a mug. All right, so again, I put it on 400 for six minutes. So make sure you keep check on it because you remember I was checking on it every, um, I did it, at first I did it for five minutes. I checked it at two minutes. Then I went back and put it back on three minutes. And then I looked at it. The design wasn't all the way through or the way that I wanted it. So I went back and put one more minute on it, which made six minutes, okay? So I hope that this helps, all right? I'm going to be using this because, you know, summer is just around the corner. I love to go to the beach, me and my family. So this is going to be amazing. All right. Summer vibes. All right. So I hope that you all have an amazing day. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Remember, the links are in the description box below. So make sure you go and check it out. Thank you for supporting my channel. And I will see you all in my next video.